They were brilliant entries. And I hope that you have put those bookmarks in your Bibles or in the place that you best connect with God to remind you to always ask the question. But I know that you're all asking the question of who it is that has won the lightning craft this week. You know, it is always worth having a bash at the craft because if you are selected as the winner, you get to choose which breakfast leader has to face a minute to win it challenge in next week's service. And Emily did just that when she won last week and chose Chris to face the challenge. And it turns out that we actually have quite a competitive vicar as he took on Sandra and Alison's attempt at getting an after eight into his mouth from his forehead without using his hands. So let's see how he did. Well, good morning, everybody. And I have been elected as the minute for win it victim of this week. And thank you, Emily, for choosing me. And I had a big problem. Which one of those challenges should I take? I ummed and ahed, and I thought, you know what? I love after eights. And when I went into my local uh, convenience store, I found that they had these orange and mint, orange and mint after eights. Well, I just could not resist that. So, and as people have been, well, not really perform very well. I thought I was in with a good chance on this one. And I have to say, I had a little bit of a practice yesterday and I got one in my mouth and I thought, oh, why didn't I record that? But anyway, we're gonna have a go. I'm gonna take the glasses off. I'm gonna set the, the uh, timer here. This is our lemon uh, egg timer here. I'm gonna set that for one minute and then I'm gonna go. So three, two, one, go. Glasses off. Now, the secret is here is to get it down, I reckon, on the face. Uh, oh. oh no, dropped it. Oh, that can't be right. <laughs> right, take two. We have to start again. You've got to wind it, Chris. You've got to wind it. You just... Well, that was a complete disaster because the uh, lemon egg timer which is pretty accurate if you're, um, if you're doing things over like 45 minutes, but absolutely hopeless if you're doing it under a minute. So what I've done is I've got my iPad here and I'm gonna use the timer on that. So here we are, take two, three, two, one, go. Uh, last night I did this and it worked really well. And what I did was I had to use it facial expressions to get it down onto this cheek here and then that's it get it over onto this side and then position it over the tongue <laughs> and I actually managed to work it so oh <laughs> way that's one right mm, oh oh no I can't enjoy it because I haven't got time. I got to somehow to get another one. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the technique. Mm. <laughs> oh! oh no! <laughs> How many seconds have I got? Oh, it's not going. Well, let's call it. Let's call it two, guys. That was brilliant, wasn't it? I'm gonna to have to wash that one off. It's fallen on the floor. It's so gorgeous. Mm. See you next week. Thanks, Emily. <laughs> that was a brilliant effort, Chris, and we have a new high score. Okay, so what about the bookmark craft, though? Well, I'm pleased to say that this week's winner is, it's Alexander W. 
Sharon thought it was great how you added speech bubbles to your bookmark to represent questions. But who has he chosen? Well, I'm not going to tell you yet. You'll find that out a little later in the service. Now, let's turn our minds and our hearts to God and still ourselves for a time of prayer. Father God, you know everything about us. You know our failings and our faults. You know our pain and our grief. You know our sin and yet you love us deeply. We want to come before you now with open minds and clean hearts. So we pray for your forgiveness in all those areas of our lives that we have fallen short this week. Lord, we thank you for your great mercy and love for us. We pray that you will remove any barriers that stand between us and you. That you will open our eyes to see you, open our lips to praise you, open our ears to hear your word and open our hearts to receive your love. And we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so we will have Sharon doing the reading for us in a moment. But before that, we have our first worship song, which is More Than Conquerors by Wren Collective, which tells the fundamental truth that when your strength is gone, Jesus is the one to pick you up and get you going again. So sing out loud and I will see you again soon. 